Okay, hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna review the oops, the Wildfire Evo from Dayton Rapid Fire Controller. So here it is, sweet big looking thing. Just press that button over there to connect to the Xbox. And then there's these grips, have like rubber thing. Oops, just did something. Here you go, dashboard again. Accidentally press. Okay, okay so. Then there's this um, like when you activate the rapid fire, rapid fire button on the back. See, it goes light when you activate it. So then there's this rapid fire option. You just need to press the this quickly and press A. Rapid fire. You can choose how rapid you want it to be and you can choose which button you want it to be rapid did by whatever turn it to max oops what that thing do okay now we have we gonna try it on Modern Warfare 3 over there oh and using the dashboard it's supposed to be a secret but quick sneak peek I would say <laughs> hey Modern Warfare 3 <coughs> Come on, Xbox, hurry up. Now I'm using activate the rapid fire control feature of it. Skip this. Skip. Actually, it feels big when I got it. Kind of hard to. Like, it takes a while to be used to it. Like, here's the sensitivity and stuff. Soft drive. Ooh, I'm in a clan eh? called the Golden Clan Tag. Actually, it's been a while since I last played this game. That's why I'm level 57. I've been playing Saints Row the Third. <coughs> so let's just start the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so red fire controller is on. Just use these class. Yeah, if you want to get like, I mean, this rapid control only cost me forty bucks. It's for like people who want to get rapid fire controller but doesn't have much money to buy the good one. So this is how it works. Actually, pretty good for forty bucks rapid fire control. Okay, now one more, one more feature is the auto fire feature. If you can see auto fire feature. Like I got the auto fire on A. Okay, so let's just start it up. The second button, the back. See, so my character just jumps on on its own. Turn it off. The jumping stuff. Now let's. Now this actually is a good feature. You get report like I'm. Gonna, I don't want to put A anymore. Okay. I'm gonna put the fire button on. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh damn! It does that sometimes. Oh yeah, there we go. So we turn on. Your control is just gonna fire without its auto fire. Whatever. Okay. Turn off. Oops. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so that's the fire feature and. One of the features is the rumble button. You can choose how rumbly you want it to be. Okay, 
Hey, so that's it. And then this USB is for to plug it in on the top one, so you can update it and put new updates in. There's lots of more features in it over there. Yeah, there's lots of new feature in it. New if you plug into the computer, see lots of weird things in there. So on the part two of this video, I'm gonna upload it later. I'm gonna show you the the like when you, what the command center on the comp computer to change which stuff you want it to be to you which features you want to be in your um, graphic controller. So that's it for the part one. See ya.